Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for tuning in to another episode of the Generation of Wrestling Podcast. As always, it's your truly, the 28 year old piece of the franchise, aka the showstopper, better known as the GOW's Wrestling Disciple <laughs> Chief. And with me, as always, I got my tag team partner, my brother, my family. He is the flyest in the room, <laughs> Mr. One, Two, Three, Finna Dash Down, K Breezy, aka Tuco Kimbro, bro. What's good? <laughs> Apparently, we was ending the show before we started. <laughs> hey, you, hey, you see how quick I caught that? I'm like, that. I'm like, damn, we over? Damn. <laughs> Shit. All right, cool. <laughs> like, damn, we just, oh, my we just, God. I got the wrong. I got the damn man. dynamite God, preview. Damn. This is not dynamite. This is SmackDown. Oh, Lord have mercy. What am I doing? Yeah, yeah. man. Ooh, man. Yeah, I, I, man. Ooh. Yeah, hey, y'all, franchise. Uh, hey, my man been working hard, man. You know. Man. The evils is at work, and my man has been working hard putting us back on the mic, man. So, uh, you know, it's it's okay. okay. Yeah, man, you know, it's that, it's that YouTube Illuminati, but you know, it's all right, man. It is what it is. Things happen. Uh, we had a great interview with Eric Bischoff. <clears throat> Again, may I repeat, great interview with Eric Bischoff. But anywho, man, right now it's about Friday night SmackDown. So we're going to talk about it, man. So tonight on the card, we got Rick Boogs versus Robert Rude. Now, it is what it is. We got Seth Rollins. He's going to come out and address the WWE Universe. Spoiler alert, I guess apparently uh, Edge will be out for the next few months. Not because he's injured, but that's because how his schedule was set up. So the rumor is when he does come back, he's going to come back to Raw. So last week was just a way to write Edge off of SmackDown to be done with Seth. Also tonight, we got the Bianca Belair's homecoming, which she will be in SmackDown, her hometown in Knoxville, Tennessee. Other than that, that is all we got announced for tonight. But, of course, you know, we had Roman Reigns and Finn Balor last week, the demon Finn Balor. So, of course, I'm pretty sure they're going to do something with that. I'm pretty sure some way, somehow, they're going to talk about Brock Lesnar. So, too cold, man. All right. Getting into tonight's match card. Uh, is there anything specific that you're looking forward to that you want to see that, you, that you're not really? My thing is, I think a lot of people, uh, and this is me, I don't know how you feel about it, but I think a lot of people were kind of not upset, that they seen, you know, Finn Balor or the Demon King. I think they're kind of upset at how early they seen it. So now it's kind of like, okay, well, where are you going to go from here? Uh, is that something that kind of worries you right now as far as the storyline is concerned? Also with the rumor being that it would be Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar at Crown Jewel anyway? Uh, Yeah, because he didn't have to come out. You could have just teased it with a video package or something, you know, a little, little snippets or stuff like that. But uh, if you're if you're advertised, if you're going to tell me Brock Lesnar Roman Reigns is going to fight for the Universal Champion, then that that's the, then I'm not even having Roman fight at Extreme Rules. Like Roman, I'm not even mentioning him fighting at Extreme Rules. Uh, Finn Balor will get a title opportunity of the winner of that match. That's what I would have went with there. But then you could have still teased yeah. that the Demon was coming by having the little light flickering and a little bit of red light, and you know to kind of. Evil, anonymous sounds and smoke and stuff like that, but you didn't need Finn Balor to come out for it. You could have just teased it. So uh, that I, I agree with the people. We shouldn't have got. To, we shouldn't have seen him come out to go face to face. But you know that's that's WWE's booking. Uh, but you know again, uh, you know we have to take some of that with a grain of salt. But uh, I, as far as the show, this show is a this show is a letdown from. Um, Last week, you know, it was such a big show being in Madison Square Garden. This week, uh, they're just in Knoxville. I don't really see too much going on in this show. Uh, unless Vince has a last-minute change and he changes some things up. Uh, we may see some of those matches. We may see some other stuff. Uh, I don't know. Um, but, no, nah, I can't say there's anything that really uh, catches my eye as far as what you announced. Um because I don't really have any high expectations for this show. Uh, again, this was the last week was the big show in, in Madison Square Garden. Uh, this is just this this is just going to be a regular show. Yeah, I mean, last, last week, like you said, man, last week was so uh, 
packed. I mean, come on. I mean, the, the whole card, it felt like a big match, big fight card. Uh, and that's very rare for WWE to make a card feel that special uh, for a regular TV show. Uh, we get it, you know, every here and there, you know, again, with the with the, with the the big pay-per-views. But that, that MSG, that really felt different. Uh, but okay. And then we also got, you know, we can't forget about Bianca Belair, her homecoming today. Uh, here in Knoxville, of course, you know, you got Becky Lynch, the SmackDown Women's Champ. You're pretty sure they're going to set something up with that. But, Tuco, man, I kind of want to talk to you about a little something. I, I, I want to talk to you about a, about a little forgotten situation. That is, of course, the Women's Tag Team Championship. So, it seems like the Women's Tag Team Championship all across the board has just been completely either ignored, forgotten about, or they just don't know what to do. Uh and I want to talk about women's wrestling. I also want to talk about Tony Storm as well. We've seen Tony Storm. She got called up, but she ain't even get a three week push. I mean, God damn, Vince didn't even give her that much. She got the dreaded one week push. The next time we see her after her debut, which was here in Cleveland, was when you know her and Dolph Ziggler made googly eyes at each other. Bro, do you think? WWE needs to do better at booking the women because you know, you, you know they were doing great <laughs> for a while. That's an understatement. Well, um, well, 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 okay, so you've been doing something on Raw with the tag team champions uh, as far as them fighting uh, Ripley and, and Nikki A.S.H. Um, so that's been going on. We know that the Shasi Blackheart and Tegan Knox team has won, but they, they haven't done anything with that. So I don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe they're saving it for a pay-per-view. Where them, you know, they'll put all the teams in one match, and whoever wins walks out with the chance. I don't know, uh, but uh, do they need to book it better? Their women, yeah, of course, they need to book them better. Uh, you're not really, you're kind of all over the place, and you're not really being consistent with the story. Uh, the Tia Knox and Shasti Blackheart party should have been won the championships. The fact that Nia, uh, uh, Tamina and and uh, Natalia are still champions. Uh, for this long, um, yeah, uh, it, 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 it's, it's ran its course. It's over. <laughs> so somebody should have beat them already, but I have a feeling, I have a feeling the team of Nikki Ash and, and Ripley may end up getting those titles. I, I got a, I, I got a question about Nikki Ash and Rhea Ripley. Do you think that they're trying to make them like the female version of RK Bro? Because that's kind of how it comes across to me. You got you know Nikki Ash kind of playing. Uh, I'm not gonna say. Uh, well, yeah, the goofy one. Then you got Rhea Ripley kind of playing the more serious person, not trying to you know show that she likes her tag team partner, but deep down you see she really. To me, it just feels like an exact carbon copy of what we already have, just on a different side of the roster. Well, as was explained earlier, man, you know. That's the that's the sell of the company, and I think it is. And when you when you hear how Bischoff talked about it, it kind of really makes sense when you see something like this. Uh, this is this is the market and what they're doing, and to build a team, a female version of a team like that. That when you have a team like Riddle and Orton that works, why not make a female team version of it when you have those type of characters in a Nikki Ash. And a rip and a Rhea Ripley. So, yeah, um, yeah, I can see it being a, a, a rip from that. Uh, and then I can eventually. Now, now saying it even more out loud, I really see them winning the tag team goal soon. Leo says, "I didn't know the Italian Tamina were still champs. I swear they dropped them back a while ago. I mean, you would think you would they think they were supposed to, but it ain't happened yet." All right, but other than that, dude, I mean, <laughs> normally when it comes to, you know, SmackDown or Raw, I mean, no, excuse me, ooh, Raw, I let them words leave my lips. Well, <laughs> I mean, comes- if, you want, man, you, if you want, man, we can run down Rampage because I know we won't get to that till tomorrow, but. Uh, well, so we, 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 you know what, man? Hey, 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 I, I mean, hey, normally, yeah, I thought that was what we were going to do, but. Uh, hey, don't 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 threaten me with a good time. Now, hold on. About a little rampage, but yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't really expect too much from this SmackDown anyway, man. Because, it, like I said, because of what happened last week, so I figured this one would be a little, a little watered down as far as you know, excitement level of what's going to be. I mean, don't get me wrong; it's still SmackDown. You're still going to get some wrestling, but will it, will it have everything that it had last week, or you know, you know, prior to it? So, 
No, yeah, no, man. I, I didn't. I don't expect much, man. We might as well talk a little bit of rampage, man. Uh, I doubt Ooh. if we're gonna. Okay, okay. So if if this card is one hundred percent accurate, uh, let's see. September seventeenth, AEW Rampage match card. So. We got the AEW World Tag Team Championship. We got the Lucha Bros. They will make their first title defense against the number one ranked Blade in the Butcher. We got Anna J versus the Bunny. We got ANT Championship match. We got Fuego Del Sol gonna get his asshole ripped out by Miro. We got Brian Danielson and Kenny Omega set to speak. Okay, okay, that that hey, that that's that's our car for an hour. I'm okay. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I wanted okay. to mention. Like, you know, I want to let people know, yo, the Lucha Bros are defending their title tonight, man. So, you know, we, yeah. we expect you know, a couple of championships tonight, but I don't expect they to better see make that. They better the make title. that. They better make that the main event. They better fucking make that the main event. Well, no, see, start I, I can I can see Miro and Frey on the I can see them being the main event just because of the little stupid stuff they did. But it depends on how <laughs> every, long everything else runs. I could see that, especially with the day of Bryan's and then uh, Brian Danielson and the uh, Kenny Omega kind of promo or whatever they're going to do to kick off Wednesday, what's going to happen on Wednesday. Right. So I could definitely see something like that. But just to see my boys, man, come out and defend those newly won AEW Tag Team Championships, I'm, I'm definitely excited for that. I'm definitely really, really looking forward to that. But uh, – yeah, man, this, this gonna be a nice little wrestler, night of wrestling, man. We got to change up the the title of the show, but yeah, we 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 definitely got to get this in. It's already eight oh one. Uh, SmackDown is probably kicking off. Uh, hey, uh, ladies and gentlemen, like we said earlier, man, our YouTube channel R O one, man, it, it it's uh, it's on the high haters for right now, for right now, man. But we got another one up, man. So you know the link is in on our page, you know. So you know, make sure you click on that to subscribe and you know catch up with us um and we gonna we but every as far as everything else everything else we've done you can catch it right here on our facebook page man we got all our episodes so you know we still got everything but uh other than that man we appreciate y'all man 100 percent, man we we had a great afternoon kicking it off man starting with eric bishop we're gonna end the night with some good wrestling and then uh hopefully tomorrow uh before it gets too crazy, uh, we can get the AEW review in. Uh, or we may have to get it tonight. You know what? We're going to have to talk about that a little later. Uh, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see y'all in a couple of hours. Uh, I'm Tuco. That's Franchise. We'll see you in a minute.